Let me know if this is a situation that feels familiar to you. You're starting a new project that we use a Raspberry Pi in headless mode, but you need to get it set up, configure software, do some development, perform a bit of testing, and everything else that goes along with the project before you're done. So you dig out an old keyboard and mouse, commandeer a monitor, lay claim to a portion of your dining room table to set everything up while you work on the project. And then, once the project's done, you have to find somewhere to store all the crap until next time. I've dealt with that exact headache more times than I can count. SSH and remote desktop are nice, but sometimes you need to interact directly, especially if a local network isn't available for whatever reason. That's why I was excited when I was finally presented with a solution, the Elecro CrowView Note. This looks like a laptop, but it isn't. There isn't a processor or RAM inside, it's just a monitor, keyboard, trackpad, and battery. But that makes it perfect for makers who often work with single board computers like Raspberry Pis. It's also useful in a few other niche situations. Quick disclaimer, Elcro sent me the CrowView Note free of charge to test out, but this is an honest review, no money has changed hands, and I am not under any obligation to say nice things. Elcro won't even get to see this video before it goes live. With that out of the way, I want to point out that my primary use case for this device is what I described in the intro, development on Raspberry Pis and other single board computers. But there are other ways to use it. For example, you could just use it as a portable monitor or as a second monitor on your desk at home. You can also use it with the desktop mode on certain smartphones and tablets. I don't own anything with that particular functionality, but apparently several Android devices can do it and the iPhone 15 can do some kind of screen mirroring. As far as the specs go, there isn't a whole lot to talk about. Remember, this isn't a laptop. The screen is a 14-inch IPS panel with 1080p resolution, which Elecro advertises as having 100% sRGB color. It can flip open to 180 degrees, which might be useful in some situations. Its keyboard has standard size keys, and the trackpad also feels average to me. There are built-in speakers and a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. There isn't any camera, though for some reason they kind of made it look like there is. I'm not sure why they designed it this way. Maybe they're giving themselves the option to add one later. However, there is a microphone. There are two USB-A ports, two USB-C ports, a mini HDMI port, a headphone jack, and a DC power input jack. The USB ports can be a bit confusing, but I'll talk more about that in a moment. As far as style and overall build quality go, I'd give this a wholehearted, eh, it's fine. If someone had handed this to me with tape over the logo, I'd assume it was an entry-level Chromebook from Asus or Acer. That isn't necessarily a bad thing, as both of those manufacturers make decent products, it just feels very generic and clearly built to fit a budget. I think the CrowView Note Kickstarter early bird price is like $130, so that makes sense. I'm not very good at judging displays, but this one looks nice to my eyes. I don't have any complaints about it. The keyboard is subpar in the same way that almost all laptop keyboards are. It's mushy and the keys have little travel without much feedback. Typing is audible, but you definitely aren't getting the satisfying click of a good Cherry MX blue switch. The trackpad is actually pretty decent, and I didn't have any issues with it. You can tap with one finger for a left click or two fingers for a right click. You can also left click or right click by pushing the trackpad at the bottom. There are even multi-touch gestures. I only tested them with Ubuntu Linux and Debian Linux, but you can use two fingers to scroll up and down or side to side, and you can spread and pinch to zoom in and out. That worked right out of the box without any special drivers or software. However, I did get annoyed by accidentally touching the trackpad with my palms while typing. There is a function button to disable the trackpad, but it's still a bit of a frustration. Also, and this isn't a big deal, but the keyboard has a Windows key next to the Alt key. They could have used any symbol there, so I'm not sure why they chose the Windows logo. 
As I mentioned before, the situation with the USB ports can be a little confusing, and that's a result of the unusual functionality. There are two USB-C ports. One is a full-featured port for use with devices like Android phones that support desktop mode. The other is just for power delivery, and it can supply up to 5 amps at 5 volts. That power delivery is how the CrowView Note is able to provide enough power for a Raspberry Pi or other single board computer. The USB-A ports are also set up in an unusual way. They're kind of bi-directional from a host device standpoint. They seem to be connected together like a USB hub and provide a connection to the keyboard and trackpad. For example, when you have a Jetson Nano plugged in, it connects to the USB-A port on the left side of the CrowView Note. That's how it receives input from the keyboard and trackpad. And if you plug a flash drive into the USB-A port on the right side, you can access it on the Jetson Nano. There isn't anything wrong with that, as far as I know. It's just different than how we normally see USB-A ports used. The headphone jack and mini HDMI ports work exactly as you'd expect, and that leaves us with the DC jack. You might think that the CrowView Note would accept power from USB-C, but nope, it's just a regular barrel jack with a power supply providing 4 amps at 12 volts. Battery life is pretty disappointing in my opinion. When used as a portable monitor, Elecro says it should be good for around 6 hours, but if it also has to power an SBC, then it will only last an hour or two. Frankly, I think they should have put a much larger battery inside. As it is, I'll pretty much always be using the CrowView Note while plugged into the wall. And now I get to talk about how I like the CrowView Note for the situation I described in the intro. It can be used with any single board computer if you use cables for power video and USB. But Elcro is selling little adapter boards specifically for the Raspberry Pi 5 and the Jetson Nano. I happen to own one of each, so I used them for testing. The adapters do the exact same thing as cables, they just keep everything tidy. In my testing, that worked great and basically did exactly what I wanted it to. It lets me do whatever configuration or development I need to do before I cram the SBC into an enclosure or whatever. And when I'm done, I can tuck the CrowView Note into a drawer. I didn't have any compatibility problems, and overall my experience was pleasant. The only issue I can come up with is the Jetson Nano adapter, which points the Ethernet port towards the keyboard. Since the Jetson Nano doesn't have Wi-Fi, you might need to use that port and the cable will get in the way. But that feels like nitpicking and you could just connect the Jetson Nano with cables instead of the adapter if it was too much of an annoyance. I think this will be perfect for my use going forward. For instance, I am currently developing a robot that will run ROS2 on a Raspberry Pi, Now I can use the CrowView Note throughout the process until it's done and running headless. It would be nice if the battery was bigger and the keyboard was nicer, but those are pretty minor complaints in my mind. I also noticed that the speakers are pretty darn quiet. Again, that isn't a big deal, but it's worth noting. Many years ago, I reviewed another device with a similar purpose in mind. The SunFounder Raspad Tablet. In fact, I still use it for this kind of development work, but it does require that I connect a separate keyboard and mouse. The screen is also pretty small and low res, and I'm pretty sure it was actually more expensive than the CrowView Note. So the CrowView Note sounds pretty awesome. However, there is one glaring issue that I think will be a deal breaker for a lot of people. The lack of internal storage for the connected SBC or smartphone. They're going to be sitting on the desk next to you. If you were hoping for a nice Raspberry Pi laptop, this isn't going to be it. In the best case scenario, someone will design some kind of 3D printed enclosure you can attach to the screen or whatever, but I doubt that's what you're looking for. I don't blame Elecro for that because there wouldn't have been any way to fit a full-size Raspberry Pi inside without making the CrowView Note dummy thick, but I think that fact dramatically limits the market for this device. As far as I'm concerned, there are two groups of people who will be interested in buying the CrowView Note. The first group is people who rely heavily on their Android smartphones and want to occasionally use them as laptops. 
if their phone supports desktop mode, this could be really useful. The second group is makers like myself that want a convenient way to work on single board computers. I'm very happy that a company is catering to this incredibly niche use case, and I think I will get a lot of use out of my Crowview Note. I got mine at the last minute, so the Kickstarter campaign is already almost over, but if you catch this before it ends on uh, September 13th, you might still be able to grab one for yourself. If you have any questions about it, feel free to ask in the comments. I have a lot of ROS2 development in my near future, so I'll be getting tons of hands-on experience with the Crowview Note, and I'll be happy to discuss my long-term impressions. Thanks for watching.